Hello everyone. This is P. Sindhu Madhavi from 10th IC studying in Sai Baba High School. In this video, we will discuss about the internal structure of heart. Before we are going to learn, we should have to learn some important points for better understanding. Let us do. Location of the heart. It is present between the lungs towards the left. It is also protected by a ribcage. Shape of the heart. It is pear shaped like structure, narrower at the posterior and wider at the anterior. Size of the heart. The size of your heart is approximately your own fist. The heart is covered by two membranes called pericardial membranes. Between the layer is filled with some fluid called pericardial fluid. Pericardial fluid will help us to protect the heart from shocks. The heart is divided into four chambers called muscular partitions. Muscular partitions called septa. Two arteries and veins are separated from each other by muscular partitions. Septa is a wall which helps to prevent the mixing of blood. Because the right side chambers are filled with deoxygenated blood and left side of the chambers are filled with oxygenated blood. Let us move to the next slide. Types of blood vessels in human body. There are so many types of blood vessels in human body. But based on the functions, they are categorized into three types. First one, arteries. Second one, veins. Third one, blood capillaries. Arteries. These are rigid vessels which always originates the heart and supply oxygenated blood to various organs in the body except pulmonary artery. That means arteries always arises from the heart. Veins. These are rest rigid vessels which brings deoxygenated blood to various organs in the body. That means veins always originates from the various organs in the body. Blood capillaries. The established between arteries and veins. Let us move to the next slide. There are three types of arteries in human body. First one, aorta. Second one, pulmonary artery. Third one, coronary artery. Let us know the types of veins related to the heart. First one, superior vena cava. Second one, inferior vena cava. Third one, coronary vein. Fourth one, pair of pulmonary vein. My friend Ganga Harshita will discuss how the chambers are divided and how the blood flows in the heart. Hi, this is Ganga Harshita. I am studying in class 10th. So now we are going to the internal structure of the heart. Heart is divided into four parts externally by grooves. While we are observing the figure, we should understand the heart has four chambers. Upper parts are called anterior and the lower parts are called posterior. The blood vessels found on the walls of the heart are coronary vessels which supply the blood to the muscles of the heart. The walls of the ventricles are relatively thicker than the auricular walls. In our observation, we found that heart has four chambers. On the left side, two chambers are present. On the right side, two chambers are present. One is anterior and another one is posterior. Similarly, this side also, one is anterior and another one is posterior. In the inner space of the left atrium and left ventricle are smaller than the right atrium and right ventricle. The pre-superior vena cava and inferior vena cava collects the deoxygenated blood from various parts in our body and brings to the right atrium. So, right atrium enters into the right ventricle. So, next, we should learn how the chambers are there. The auricles are separated by a muscular partition which is called septum. This septum will be called as the inner auricle septum. Similarly, the two ventricles are separated by a muscular partition. This will be called as the interventricular septum. Similarly, the right atrium and right ventricle are separated by a septum. This septum will be called as the right atrium ventricular septum. Similarly, the left atrium and left ventricle are separated by a muscular partition, which is called the left atrium ventricular septum. So next, we are coming to the chambers. The pre-superior vena cava collects the deoxygenated blood from upper parts in our body, such as head and neck. In the same way, the inferior vena cava collects the deoxygenated blood from lower parts in our body, such as hands and legs. So next, 
So the right atrium enters into the right ventricular through a opening. That opening will be called as a right auricular ventricular aperture. It will be guarded by a wall called right atrioventricular valve or tricuspid valve. Similarly, the left atrium enters into the left ventricle through a opening. That opening will be called as a left auricular ventricular aperture. It is guarded by a wall called bicuspid valve or left atrioventricular valve. So next, a major blood vessels originated from the right ventricular that is pulmonary artery. At the same way, a major blood vessels originated from the left ventricular that is iota. When the auricles are filled with the blood, the blood enters into the right ventricle. From right ventricle, the blood moves into the pulmonary artery. From pulmonary artery, the blood enters into the lungs. That lungs purified the deoxygenated blood and sends through the pulmonary vein. The pulmonary vein brings the blood into the left atrium. From left atrium, the blood allows into the left ventricular. From left ventricular, the blood allows into the systemic iota. That systemic iota sends the blood to the various parts in our body. Thanks for watching the video. Please like this video and subscribe to our Sai Baba High School channel and click the bell icon for further updates.